the key thing is that the AI reacts to how you play. No, the, the whole, oh my god. Oh, oh. My god. <laughs> <laughs> that could not have been better. Really stops right there. <laughs> wow. Yes. Best All part kinds of, of AI. Five, five. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to PlayStation Underground. On today's show, this is a very special episode because we are playing Far Cry 5 with Dan Hay, creative director on Far Cry 5, and Daryl Long, producer on Far Cry 5. Gentlemen, we are welcome to the program. We're all in a very interesting situation right now. We're, we're pretty much in a porta potty. In <laughs> right? We are confined in a, a confined space. Very confined. <laughs> um, it's cozy. But we are we are in a new area that we have not seen a lot of in Hope County, Montana. And uh, Dan, you want to walk me through a little bit what we're seeing? Sure. Yeah. So basically, what we're looking at right now is that this is a whole new region that we've sort of brought for people to play today. And this is Jacob's region. He's the older brother of Joseph and he's much more the, the militant side of things, right? And so you head up north and you head into Jacob's region. He's got, he's got troops up here, he's got people that he's training, and there's also a militia in this space that are the good guys that basically you're gonna be able to find them, you're gonna be able to get their help, and as you build the resistance meter against Jacob, that resistance is gonna be key into, into pushing back on the cult. Yeah, that, that meter is kind of uh, paramount and meta to the yes. entire experience, yes. right? Is, is trying yeah. to push back on this cult. It really, it really helps define sort of the, how you're doing and the organic nature of the game. And Daryl, uh, any, any, uh, is it nice to see all this in motion after so long? And it's beautiful. <laughs> so good. I've never seen anything so beautiful in my life. You can hear uh, it in our voice. We're so happy. It makes me cry. <laughs> yeah, at, at, during the time of this recording, we are, I would say, perilously close to your launch. Uh, yeah. And uh, it must be kind of wild to be at that position. So oh, it's great. I mean, we've been, we've been, we we know what the game is, and we've been hanging on to it for so long that you get to a point where you just want to show it and let the game talk, right? Yeah. And so we're here. You're able to play it. You're able to see all the cool stuff. Uh, or in this case, just horrible, stuff. terrible stuff. Yeah, horrible, yes, terrible exactly. things. No, but it's uh, walk me through this area, this uh, station. So we're way up north right now, and I think you're on. So this is the the radar station at the top, and I think what um, Max is about to do is is jump in here, take this place out, and actually go after a radar tower. And then I'm assuming what he wants to do is see if he can get a <laughs> chopper. He can hear us, so luckily. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> go ahead, Max. Do what you want to do. It's not a prescription for success at yeah. all. And Max is fully loaded yeah, yeah. Uh, in, with the artillery here. Okay, oh, so we are not going loud. Stealth, stealth, is stealth is out the window. <laughs> this is more of a window into Max than it is the game right now. Um, yeah, I always, I usually try and start with stealth, and then things really yep. careen off the yep. rails for me very quickly. But that's something that you were telling us earlier today, Dan, is that uh, Far Cry Five very much a game that you play how you want to play. You can go fish, you can go hunt, yep. or you can go, you know, liberate giant stations uh, very loudly, as we are doing now. Um, Daryl, how does the team sort of balance all that out and kind of keep things fun for the stealth users, keep things fun for people who like to use the artillery? Um, what does that look like from the inside? Well, the, the key thing is that the AI reacts to how you play. You know, the, the whole... Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> that could not have been better. Everything really <laughs> stops right there. Wow. Yes. Best all part kinds of, of AI. Five five. That, that, you know, that was the guardian of this station, and we have vanquished it. That worked really well. Uh, sorry, Daryl, please continue. I have no idea what I was saying. Oh, so I lost yeah, everything yeah, to the react. Wolverine. It totally happened right there. <laughs> and the, the, how you play the game, the, the game reacts back. So right now, I mean, we're towards the beginning of the game, and the, the, the AI is difficult. The cultists, they're, they're the base level of cultists. But if you were to come back to the same outpost later on through the, there we go, that's Very done. Nicely done. <laughs> Try not to be too efficient. Yeah, beautiful, you played this game before. Throw, throw. <laughs> not the first time. But the, if you were to come back to this outpost later on, there would be different enemies there. There'd be more advanced enemies that are harder to fight against, and they have new tactics to use against you. So the, the whole time you're playing, the AI is reacting to how you play. Um, and I don't know if, if Daryl, you also want to speak a little bit to the Guns for Hire uh, system because I don't. Are, do we have someone with, with us right now? Absolutely. Or is that our co well, that's just our co-op partner, but that right. is a friend for hire. Yes. Okay. So the the thing about the Guns for Hire is, and Daryl's right. Like when you're playing the when you're playing the game. Wolf. Oh, there's a wolf coming. Look out, dude. And you're and dead. you're dead, Max. <laughs> Cling You're to never, life. Never gonna hear the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Oh, and the we, wolf is just okay. No, we we're we are showing oh. we're showing the back? audience how uh, this is a dangerous open world situation. Yes. Yeah, but finishing the the radar station on your back. 
That's not, <laughs> it's not Max, the way you want to be remembered. <laughs> Max is not mic'd up. But you can see his face. <laughs> um, we have uh, congratulations, though. Uh, be it wolf deaths or otherwise, yep. Yep. we have accomplished our mission here, so that's good. All right, so here we are. We are getting a beautiful look of uh, some of the open world right now. We successfully, with some wolf death, uh, liberated uh, that. <laughs> there was a healthy dose. <laughs> there, uh, a healthy dose. <laughs> yes. uh, and now uh, we are heading towards a giant cheeseburger filled yep. with cheese. Yep. Yep. Um, this kind of blew me away, Dan, when you were telling me about what's in, I, I think what I'm in store for here. Um, I'm excited to see because I haven't seen this yet in game. Well, this is pretty cool. This is basically the Fang Center. It was originally there for animals and whatnot, but also you see this giant cheeseburger statue because Cheeseburger, the bear that we have as a Fangs for hire in the game, is actually quite famous in Hope County, right? And you have an opportunity to go and see if you can find cheese, Cheeseburger. And the whole time, and there's all kinds of stuff that you can do around the world to actually look for. That was look at that. Cool, Max. You can also just decide to arbitrarily jump out of helicopters this and is, land in the middle of the Fang this Center. This is Max's stealth. Wow, Max. Max. Stealth. All right, so here he goes. He's gonna jump Leave in. We're following the partner hanging out. To following die. the co-op partner. <laughs> Leaving your partner to take the Fang Center by themselves. You couldn't. You couldn't ask for a more no. organic playthrough of this section of the game. Yep. Love it. Holding nothing right, and back. And we're back in. Oh, that hurt. That hurt too. All right, you're in. So we are going to try and take this by force yes. after, uh, I'm going to say a helicopter death. Yeah, we'll call it that. Um, Blame the helicopter. Yeah, gravity death. Uh, and it's great. It's so I'm, I'm just looking at all the little micro play spaces that you know your designers have built in here. Think like these little interiors, fences that you can get into. Yep. I mean, it's just incredible the amount of uh, you know environmental diversity here that you have to play with. And this is of course just one part of a very larger uh, open world map. Well, we it's wanted incredible. Each, each location to have its own personality, right? To have a history. If you could look at it. You could understand this is where they kept animals. And to be honest, if you were going to go and experiment on animals, this is probably where. Jacob would go first, right? And then they managed to be able to save, oh, now they called in uh, reinforcements, but you got co-op partners gonna go toe to toe with them. Oh, reinforcements gosh. on this outpost are tough. I yeah, mean, they they're are. not messing around with this one. These guys going in loud like that, they're, they're picking a good fight or a bad fight. Would you say that stealth affords a uh, I don't want to use the word easy, but a smoother play of the game, or does it really come with its own challenges? I think, you know, Daryl was talking about it earlier, is that if you're playing with guns for hire, there's no question that if you have Boomer with you, and Boomer's pretty much like this organic drone, you can go in and there's a lot of things you can do to start to be able to tag people and understand what's right. going on, and then you could you can initiate Boomer if you want. If you want to play stealth, you want to use Jess, you can do that. Um, and there's, there's no question that it affords the ability for you to be a little bit more intentional with your gameplay but you also can just go in and raise hell if you want, cause all kinds of trouble, but it also depends on how the game is gonna get pushed back on you. If you make enough of a ruckus, what's gonna happen is the game's gonna send more AI after you, and it's gonna cause all kinds of mayhem. All right, so congratulate, another right. liberation. Took it, and we start to see the resistance start to push back in, and the white tail, the militia, actually start to push back in and take over the area, and start to push back uh, against the cult. So there you go, famous cheeseburger t-shirt right there. Everybody in the world knows him. <laughs> Everybody in the world, yeah. from the far reaches of international waters, cheeseburger the bear, known. Absolutely. <laughs> Taking an outpost opens up new opportunities to you as well. You know, once you, as you move through the area, as you create a new range for the resistance to take over, you're gonna see new opportunities pop up. And in this case, we've got Wade, who's actually, he was the owner of the Fang Center and uh, the guys are gonna go talk to him in a minute. In this mission, so what Wade explained is that in order to get Cheeseburger, you're gonna need to feed him, you know, to win him over. So now the guys are gonna go fishing, and they're gonna try and catch some salmon. Oh, this is the best. It, it's a whole palette of gameplay colors that I can paint with, you guys. If you were gonna go capture a bear, <laughs> <laughs> what would you need? You're gonna need a, salmon. a cheeseburger. Oh, salmon. There right. you go. So of you course. go get the salmon, and you're yeah. gonna go. Well, that's the thing. He can't eat cheeseburgers anymore because yeah. he's diabetic. Oh, of course, of course. I'm glad that we have the bear's health in mind. Absolutely, it's paramount. Watch out for that. Oh my gosh. Oof. And this is great. And this, you know, obviously that cultist truck was not part of the plan. It was nope. just that no. happened to be there in your path. Yep. You never know what's going to happen in this game. There's I'm, always something new being thrown at you. 
I'm watching this right now, and as I said at the begin at the top of the show, I haven't seen this section of the game, but I just don't understand how games like this are made because they're so big and there's so much going on, and I don't I don't mean to gush, but that's ridiculous. I don't. It seems like something like this of this size would would take decades to build leaf by leaf. But uh, you guys do not take decades. You actually have a substantial amount of time less than that. <laughs> There's no question it's challenging. Yeah. Right? You've got to be thinking about how all the systems collide. You've got to be able to have moments like this where you can walk up and you can fish. You have the opportunity. The open world can still mess with you, right? right? Yep. And as developers, <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen. Right? We have no idea. Oh, yep. Just yep. Very there nice. Make sure you finish that. Very nice. Uh, sometimes I find myself like I'll, I'll be playing the game and I'll have a certain objective in mind. And next thing you know, I'm hunting ducks. Yeah. And I'm not even doing what I was supposed to be doing. And an hour later, I'm thinking, oh, I should be at home with my family. But instead, you know, <laughs> I'm still hunting ducks. <laughs> that, you know, could be a back of the box quote. I should be at home with my family. But I'm still hunting ducks. But I'm still hunting ducks. Great. You heard it here, folks. Uh, you heard it here first, folks, on PlayStation Underground. So the fishing system, actually, the challenge is dynamic as well. Depending okay, on... You guys put everything in. Yeah, <laughs> we really do. <laughs> Depending on where you are, the type of fish that you catch, the challenge is going to be difficult. And in this case, this salmon obviously clearly does not want to be caught at no. all. Max is struggling hard with it. I think soon he's going to jump out of a helicopter and die on it. We <laughs> We're really, we're making life as difficult Poor as Max. possible for me. <laughs> <laughs> lost it. You know what's interesting though? You build, a, you build a game like this with this many systems, this many things that can collide, and then you take it to E3 and it's got you know, an earnest story, it's got great moments, and then you realize people are just going to spend half an hour fishing. That's all they want to do is fish, and that's okay. That's how they want to play it. Yeah. Do you feel like, are you going to be able to go to sleep at night at the end of the day if someone buys your game, which your team, you know, sweat blood and tears for years and all they do is fish? I need sleep. Okay. So yes, I'm going to be just fine. <laughs> uh, I love it. And even things like the way the water is reacting inside yeah. the I mean, it's great. I love it. Oh, we caught a salmon. There you go. Don't throw it back. Eight, 13 pounds. There you go. I, I know nothing about fishing. Is that a lot? Is that a giant? Is that a big fish? It's okay. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. We're trying to be nice. <laughs> Just can't give Max an inch. <laughs> oh, I feel terrible. All right, so now Max has got to go and grab a vehicle or uh, and boost over and, and head over to basically find where Cheeseburger is. You can see Max is getting perk points right now because he's, uh, he's completing different challenges. In that case, he, he caught the salmon that uh, finishes a fishing challenge. So now he, uh, he's got a new perk point. And with that perk point, he can go in and unlock new skills that'll make him stronger. Uh, there's a whole huge variety of things from personal upgrades, like better weapon handling, things like that, all the way to upgrades for your guns for hire. Ooh. Some muscle. I was not expecting a car of this type uh, out in Hope County, Montana, but here we are. Can you turn up the heat uh, in this car, please? It's, uh... <laughs> the thing that we uh, spent a lot of time on was the music in the game. Yeah. And you know, you get into a car and you expect, you're in Montana, you expect to have classic American tunes, you expect to be able to have that, so the, the music is almost a character in the game. Yeah, we talked about that, I think, last time, yep. uh, how, especially as someone like myself who loves, like, blues and, you know, bluegrass, there's just a lot, there's a great tapestry in Far Cry 5 that, as you say, it adds character. It's, there are times, actually, when I'm at the office, I'm working on something, and I'm listening to the cult music, and that's when you know they've got you. It's... <laughs> Daryl, well, do we it. need to have a conversation Well, hear people whistling it. Right? Oh, really? oh, people start, and it's in their head. It gets its inception. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! Who's is that? You or Julian? Because your aim is terrible. <laughs> Civilians are going to be turning <laughs> against you if you keep it up. Carl is relentless on Max. Oh my God! You guys will never want to record this show with me again. Oh, it's great. It's, good. <laughs> it's, it's just funny because we, truly, you can tell, we have no idea what's going to happen yeah. because it's completely organic. So we're watching it and just trying to figure out what's going to happen next. Oh, I know what's going to happen next. <laughs> oh, we oh, 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 got up from life. that one. Can you cling to life or be resurrected? Oh. I, is your Guns for Hire? Guns for Hire is going to do it, maybe. Thank you. Hooray, thank you. 
Many thanks. And you got the supply vehicle for it. Many thanks. We survived. <laughs> so just jump across. Swim. Now, is this when a giant shark comes to eat us? <laughs> Because the luck that we've had so, so far. far. Yeah, at this point, indicated. nothing would surprise expect surprising. a helicopter to come and land on us. <laughs> Somehow the entire river just ignites in flames. Yep. Gosh, the amount of foliage that's in this, these areas, too. I mean, that's why we went there. It's got to feel real. How long did the team stay? Or well, how many two trips? Weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks. We there, but there were multiple trips. Multiple trips, Meeting yeah. Meeting different people, you know, gaining a sense of the place, really trying to understand the feeling of it. And I think what's super cool is we've actually talked to people who are from there, and they're like, oh yeah, this feels really familiar, it feels good. So I think what, uh, what Max is going to do now is they're going to jump in and basically try and clear the spot out and see if they can find Cheeseburger. <laughs> I love that that's the end goal of this video, is finding a bear named Cheeseburger. Yep. Find only, the, only the finest entertainment for our, for our <laughs> audience. <laughs> okay, so are right. we, let's see if we do the stealth route. Yeah, they are trying I'm, stealth. I'm see. interested to see. What? Ooh, look at that slide. Yep. Watch out. It's a very subtle hiding in the bushes. Oh, 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 oh careful. That system is great, by the way. It, it gives you a bit of leeway of making yep. mistakes yep. Uh, without ruining your entire stealth operation, which is what I do every time. Well, even when, you, um, even when you do blow stealth sometimes, you can you know, retreat back wait a little while. The AI never really entirely calms down because obviously they know that something <gasps> happened. Here we are. Good There's is. the cheese. We got it. We got it, guys. Here oh. is my salmon of oh. 19 pounds. 13. It's worse. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeseburger, please do not kill us. Oh my god, he's gonna so have cute. a moment here. He's so cute. Aww. Aww. Do not oh try this. Oh my at gosh, home. yes, please, everyone watching, never, ever try to pet a bear. <laughs> don't do this at home. <laughs> I don't care if you're a trained professional or not. And here we go. Cue the mayhem. Oh, this is when the mayhem starts? Yeah, oh, this is when they start, they start to realize, wait a second, you're going to take cheeseburger. Well, there's no way. They, they were looking for cheeseburger themselves, and now you're about to go toe to toe and see cheeseburger in action. <laughs> just leaping into the front. <laughs> right onto the barrels. Good aim. Good aim. Cheeseburger is a tank unit, so he's going to take all the aggro for you, and you can pick off the enemies from a distance. Oh, love it. Love it. Now, what we're missing is the music for this. It's one of my favorite. The music is awesome. It's just a carnival. It's a symphony of, of mayhem. They'll get that. Uh, the audience will hear. We're just awesome. not privy to it in our uh, small Oh, nice. Game. Max. That was beautiful. That was Fireworks. almost oh, enough to redeem oneself. Careful. Uh, attacking from both sides. Watch out, guys. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of them. Nice. Oh kill. my god. All right, these are some VIPs also. They're yeah, a lot tougher like a than the couple of them got bliss on them. Using every tool at your disposal. There's so Double much cheeseburger. going on. There's dynamite being thrown. There's a bear running through the fire. Like it's someone <laughs> just blew up the bear. No cheeseburger. Oh, cheeseburger. Nice. Made it. She does not look happy. Yes, no. Like, and I need to come rescue you. The Could you keep character it together? Nice. Pull it together, buddy. Uh, we're going to need Max to sign a waiver. I'm <laughs> 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 releasing this footage. All right, did That's it. it. Nice. Nicely done, boys. So now you got the option to basically have Cheeseburger as a thanks for hire. Awesome. That's fantastic. Cool. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, this this has been a rather wonderful look at Far Cry 5. Uh, Dan, Daryl, thank you. Max, thank you guys so much. Thanks, Max. Uh, uh, Dan, Far Cry 5, when can we play it on PS4? You're going to be able to play it on, on the 27th. Basically, March 27th, everybody's going to be able to play it. Awesome. Gentlemen, thank you so much. And uh, folks, thank you for watching. And until next time, this has been PlayStation Underground. We'll see you soon. PlayStation.